Good morning, you guys. Sure was a windy weekend, wasn't it? Yesterday, it was just crazy how windy it was. I just closed the blinds yesterday so that I didn't have to look at all the wind. I just had to hear it. Today, it looks like the wind has died down a little bit. That's good. It's supposed to pick up again, I heard. So we'll just enjoy this beautiful weather while it lasts. This morning, after devotions and after I finish my breakfast, I'm headed to school to do some cleaning, some end of the year cleaning. Clean out the big white cupboard in the classroom because all of my things are in there and Mrs. Slingerland, who hopes to be the grade two teacher next year, will be in that classroom. So then she has room to put all of her stuff in that cupboard. And then I'll maybe start cleaning out some of your desks. Some of your desks were a little bit dirty. I took out all of your school stuff, but there's still little papers, pencil shavings, and all sorts of little things like that. So I'm going to take my vacuum, I think, and I'm going to just vacuum them all out. And hopefully that will do the job. All right, I had a phone call, but that's taken care of now. And I forgot what I was talking about just before. Probably about the weather. Oh no, I was going to school to clean up the classroom, that's right. All right, so my cup of coffee this morning, you, me, and a cup of tea, except this morning it's a cup of coffee. A nice warm coffee. All right, our devotion for today is called Receiving Instruction. Instruction means teaching. Every day you go to school or every day you do schoolwork so that you can learn something new. Do you like to learn new things? Today we read something about learning. Solomon, in Proverbs 22 verse 6, he says, Train up a child in the way he should go. What does train mean? It means to teach of all the great things that are in the Bible, such as the following, creation, the fall of man, the covenant of grace, the life of the Lord Jesus, the work of the Holy Spirit. We were created good, without sin, but because of sin we have an evil heart. That is why a new heart is so important. The Lord can give you one, and he wants to be asked for one. Even though you don't understand everything, you may still study God's word. You don't need to understand everything, but ask the Lord to help you. When you become older, you will remember what you have learned from the Bible. You will never forget it. How well the Lord cares for you by giving you the Bible. You can learn much from it. Since the Lord desires, the Lord wants to make you wise unto salvation. So that's the devotion for today, receiving instruction. And the best place to learn things from is the Bible. Tomorrow's devotion is called Words of Wisdom. I hope to see you tomorrow and have a great day and a great week. Bye-bye.